from Rob Gardner Fashion Decorators. Um, I just want to show you a quick unboxing and first impressions of the new Wagner XVLP. Now this particular one came um, with a special offer deal which included this box here which is the fine tip. Um, so it comes as standard with a standard tip or end um, and then there's this fine one Now I'm quite used to using an airlift sprayer as some of you may have seen in previous videos so this is more along the lines between an airlift sprayer and a um, HVLP and it kind of meets the two um, so we can do kind of both but with the fine end um, you can then use it for more detailed work things like spindles, doors, skirting boards, architraves which is kind of what we're going to be using it more for because we've already got the big airless sprayer the 250 um, for all the walls and ceilings and such so it's going to be a happy sort of medium likewise we will be using it on some walls and ceilings um, maybe if it's just the inside of a cupboard or, or a small bathroom ceiling or anything like that so that's the tip itself or the, the fine I've got to stop calling it a tip when it's not but the, the fine spray end so we'll come back into that in a moment so then the main box itself so price wise um, it was £500, that was including the fine end, um, uh, that was including that. So it's around the same sort of price as some of the other ones. This one is actually a 240 volt, which reading some of the reviews about the Greco, which is another cordless one, which is one I was kind of thinking about, which is battery operated, apparently the batteries only last a quarter of an hour, 20 minutes, but take another 40 to 45 minutes to charge up. You only get two batteries, so you're gonna be waiting around for quite a bit, waiting for your batteries um, to charge. Whereas this one's a 240, so to us it's no real hassle running an extension cable, and then you're not gonna constantly be running out of batteries. This comes pretty well packaged. in that box. So here we go. Um, nice solid box so the plan is I'll just keep this in the van pretty much all the time. Um, it may well be that it becomes so useful that I get a second one for my second van um, but we'll see how it goes with this one first. I really do see it hopefully taking over a little bit from the brush and the ruler and using it more and more um, probably not on a daily basis but on certain jobs a lot more than than um, having to get out the airless sprayer and stuff all the time. So let's take off this wrapper in. Nice little feature, it's got a little padlock gap on it. Um, I say that's a nice feature, but realistically, if someone's going to nick it, they're just going to nip the whole box. So maybe that's a bit of a mess. But let's try and get into this. Um, Ragnar also do this kind of product, but for the more domestic market. Um, I've watched a couple of reviews on those because they've been out a little while, and they seem to be pretty good to be fair. This is aimed more at professional, this sort of person that's going to be using it all the time. Um, so, nice design to the box, seems nice and sturdy. Let's open it up. Oh, oh that's quite cool. Okay, so kind of opens like so. Right. 
So at the back there, I don't know if you can really see in there, I'll do a close up in a moment. Um, it gives you information of the different sorts of things. I think that might come out, I don't think it's meant to, I think it's meant to be stuck in. Which, e which tip or which ends does what. Um, so let's start with the main machine itself. All of it's in with these nice cable ties. So that's the actual, that way around, the actual blower bit. Um, so on the ends here, from my little practice with it with spray saw, you've basically got this nozzle here, which allows for the amount of air that comes in, a bit like a hairdryer in some senses, 12 being the maximum and it goes all the way down. So if you're doing something really detailed, you turn it down. If you're using, you want to get the paint out as much as you can, you turn it up. There's then a lock, I suppose, um, turn it on and off so no one picks it up and then accidentally starts spraying it. This here looks like maybe a strap attachment. Um, and then safety there. And then on the front part is where you then put your attachment tip or whatever they're going to call it. That's going to annoy me. Which is this one here. Um, and then actually on here as well, you've also got numbers, don't know if you've made that out, and that indicates the amount of paint that's going to be sucked up from the canister up into the top and then out. So again, if you don't want too much paint, then you can turn that down, you can turn down the actual amount of air that's going through it, and basically you can just play around until you get exactly what you want. And then also on the front, there's um, a switch, which is there um, and that just alters your fan so if you want a wide fan because you're doing some ceilings um, then you turn on to the wide one if you want a narrow fan because you're doing some spindles then you obviously turn on to the narrow one the canister itself holds one litre just under um, metal quite easy to clean out and then you've got the inside of it here um, so the paint basically gets sucked up through here and then into the into the gun. So it's all quite nice to be made. That's metal. All seems pretty good. So that I believe goes in there. And then you have the actual trigger onto there. There's two parts to it it seems. There's the first part there and then the second part there. So you've got some nice control. Um, weight wise it's not very weighty at all obviously I haven't got the paint in it at the moment so um, that's just gonna gonna alter it um, but it's definitely something that you can feel you're gonna hold it's quite nicely balanced so yeah feels good cable nice to see it's quite long I've got a Makita sander that the cable is about this long and you end up having to carry around a um, extension cable whatever you're doing because it won't even reach some of the doors. But this one seems quite nice and long, and that, does that come out? Doesn't look like it, it's just a standard 240. I suppose if you're getting this in the States or in a different country where you've got a different adapter, then you will probably have your adapter to match. But that looks like it would just come out, probably save the company money, they would just supply you with the end one. So that's nice, got a strap on it to keep all that nice and tidy. So let's put that to one side a sec. Let's see what else is in the box. We've got some filters and they explain where they go. A um, bit like a Hoover in that fact that um, it fills out in the air particles I believe before it goes through the paint and they're quite cheap to replace. Not that I think you probably need to replace it a lot. So filters, and then you've got some a cleaning brush. I'll probably get some different ones of these, and some filters to go on the end of the inside of the cap. Um, they're different mesh, so I'm guessing the white one would be for things like um, emulsions and wall paints, and then that red one because it's very very fine 
would be for what you're using on your woodworks and your trims and stuff. Um, I believe you can replace those quite easy. And then what else have you got? Some sort of gel, lubricant gel, I'm not sure what that's for. You got a spare hoop. You got a spare one of those that were inside the cap. Again, lots of these things probably just will go missing eventually. Um, you got these, which are fill-in funnel kit. Before I come on to that, though, there is a very nice looking strap, it looks like. So that would be quite handy. So, but that's what's inside the box. Nice box, well presented, um, nice and sturdy, seems, and enough space for both the fine tip and the standard tip. So we're not going to have to have different boxes, it can just all go in the one. And let's have a quick look at these. Looks like somebody put your chips in, um, but I'm guessing that's what you then put inside the pot to pour your paint in. Not really sure why you need that, but it's an extra freebie. So, looking at the chart, then yeah, these are hopper things that you pour your paint into. Um, basically, explains what, it's, what what is in your box, and it also gives a brief description of what tip should be used for what type of paint and wall areas. But I'm sure I'll start playing around with it and that'll be quite easy to understand. So let's have a quick look at the last thing we haven't opened yet, which is the fine tip one. So what I do, I'm on a project at the moment where in a couple of days time we'll be ready to use this. I'm just starting to prep all the woodwork at the moment. Um, and then the plan is, is that we will get this one up and running and we're going to Spray all the doors, architraves, spindles, treads, all that sort of thing with it. And we're probably there's a bit of new plaster, so we'll probably paint the um, new plaster with it. See how it acts with that. Another instruction. I did forget to say that there's a uh, this massive instruction manual that came with it, so I'll read that later, of course. And then the fine one. So that's quite nice that. Um, it's come also with a second container. So I suppose if I'm using some different coloured paints and such, I can um, I can use one while the other one's drying, for example, because they would fit each other. I'm sure. Let's just give that a try. That's the one from the standard spray. So the standard one will um, you can use on trims, um, on the woodwork and such, and you can also use it on walls. But they do also do a wall one. So the way I've been sold it is that the standard spray end kind of does a bit of everything. Um, but if you want a really nice finish, then you need to go for the the correct model. So yeah, the canister fits both. So that's handy. Like I say, if I'm washing one out. I can then put the other one on if I'm suddenly changing paints quickly from one to the other. Um, so the only difference really in that sense is that this one's brown and um, but has the same sort of information on it. So that is basically the Wagner X VLP. Um, I'll try it out and you can watch me doing the, um, the spraying probably once I've had a few attempts. That bit there comes off, I think. And that's where your filters go in there. Probably. I'll play around with that after I've read the instructions. But overall, really good quality. Um, really like the weight of it, the balance of it is good, even without the painting at the moment. Box is good, keeps everything all in one place and uh, I look forward to giving it a go over the next couple of days and coming back to you in a moment with, um, with a review of how it actually works. That's all for now.